Aloha. I just left Long's Drugstore in Keau, Hawaii, which is in the county of Hawaii, on the island of Hawaii, in the state of Hawaii. <laughs> I love it. It's kind of like saying you live in California City in the state of California, only cooler. Uh, yeah, so I'm uh, headed home and doing some errands. Went down to Hilo. Got some fencing material. Got a dog crate. Got some shots for the dog, the puppy, Kamiko, who is a eight-week old Catahoula leopard dog. She's a hunting dog. And so she's been in our house now for three days and she needs a crate to sleep in because every time she wakes up she wants to chew stuff. So hasn't been much sleep going on in the house. I'm trying to keep everything from getting chewed up. But uh, yeah it's a nice day. It's been raining a lot this past uh, week and a half to two weeks. This weekend, which right now it's Tuesday the 14th of January in the year 2020. But uh, this weekend, uh, this past weekend, at my house it rained about two feet. Got, I think it said 26 inches of rain. All I know is over the last three and a half, no, four days, since Thursday, Thursday through Sunday, I filled up three Home Depot buckets with rainwater. And that was sequentially. So meaning I put an empty Home Depot bucket out in the yard with nothing around it, no run, no runoff or anything like that, just straight up rain. And when it filled up, it took a, almost, the first bucket took almost two days. When it filled up, I dumped it out and put it back down. The second bucket filled up in almost a little more than half a day. And then the third one took about a day and a half. So, yeah, pretty crazy. A lot of rain, but I love it. And um, I see a, it's kind of cloudy. But right now, I am filming as I drive up Volcano Highway. And I just drove through Curtis Town, if you're familiar. And uh, I'm getting ready to come up on the uh, Hilo Coffee Mill, which I have great coffee. Oh, it smells so good when they're roasting their beans. Uh, anyway, it's sidetracked. I'm filming as I drive in my Nissan Titan pickup. It's a King Cab and it's a 2015 model. Two wheel drive, which makes no difference on the video. But what I am going to explain is that I have a GoPro mount with a double sided stick tape on the center of my dash just above my head unit and it is attached with GoPro mounts to my DJI Osmo Pocket which is an awesome camera I'm loving this thing more and more and I'm trying to improve my skills my just my speaking skills how I look on the camera I want to be more natural rather than rehearsed or forced. I also want to get uh, better at getting good footage, talking about interesting subjects. So if I'm doing a good job, give me a thumbs up. And everybody says smash that like button, but just give me a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe. I'm trying to build a YouTube channel. I want to share all my my activities thoughts and everything else here on the big island of hawaii and uh so yeah do that just subscribe i my wife laughs at me because i've subscribed to like 600 and something people um you know i get people to subscribe to me and maybe uh i can spread the word a little bit more and share the aloha that i'm learning how to live here on the island but uh yeah so I'll, i'm filming with my dji osmo pocket back on the subject I have it on face tracking and it's fast track. There's two different ways to track. There's a slow slow mode and a fast mode. And right now I have it on the fast mode. I'm just trying it out, see how it works. And I am using 1080p at 30 frames a second. Uh, I have the I have the white balance. 
set at 5200 Kelvin, I believe. It's cloudy out, but it's also patches of white, uh, blue sky up there too. So I'm trying to, that's a good, I like the white balance on that, that, that temperature scale. My camera settings as far as f-stop I think the f-stop ah gosh I'm gonna have to look it up and then I'll post it on my my description or I'll even maybe I'll put it right here on my screen so you can see what it is um, I don't know how this thing sounds yet I don't know how it looks I do know that what I see when I'm looking at the camera is when I go over bumps I see it kind of vibrating because it's not super rigid where it's mounted. I don't know if that's because the plastic dash that it's mounted to is moving or if it's the GoPro mounts that are moving and the camera's not quite balanced in there so it's kind of like it, it, it has a it has a frequency I guess. So we'll see how it looks. The camera is a is stabilized. It's a three axis gimbal. And um, it does a pretty good job. Uh, I just don't know how it's going to do this close while it's trying to stay stabilized on my face. Um, it does a really good job when I'm looking out the windshield and it stabilizes on the horizon phenomenally. Let's uh, refocus it on me and now I will, now that we're going, I will go to the windshield show you what I'm talking about. I have it on fast tracking, which I haven't done that yet. I usually have it on slow mode because when I do time lapses and hyperlapses, it's really smooth. It looks great. The way that it pans back and forth when I go around curves and going up and down and it settles to a nice stationary spot. Um, you don't really notice it. That's how good of a job it does. So right now, I'm not sure how it looks. I haven't checked this out. You're getting first-hand knowledge. I'm going to have to go and look at it later on to see what you're seeing right now. So I hope that it looks good. If it doesn't, let me know. If you have suggestions, let me know. If you have critiques, if you have praise, if you have just questions you want to ask, feel free to hit that comment section. Uh, when you scroll down, at least if you're on your phone, when you scroll down, scroll past all the other videos and then it gets to the comment section, leave a comment. If you're on your computer, it's easier. Um, but by all means, please subscribe. I would love to share my videos with you and hopefully you like what I have to offer. I plan on doing videos down at, at, at the beach. I want to do some snorkeling stuff, some surfing stuff, some boogie boarding stuff. And soon, motorcycle videos here on the big island. I want to share this whole island with you. And while I'm, while I'm getting better at learning how to live aloha, I want you to learn how to live aloha with me. So I'm going to flip this camera back around. There's a button on it, the power button. If you hit it three times, it comes back 180 degrees. Let's see how it works. Go and it didn't find me. There it did, it found me. <laughs> I love it. All right, everybody, aloha. Have a great day, have a great week. Hit subscribe, click that like button, share it with your friends. I'm just starting out and I'm a rank amateur, but I want you to see the improvements and go along with my Hawaiian adventures. Aloha. I'm home now. And I'm going to kind of talk about the settings that I was using on the phone while I was driving in the truck earlier. I mentioned that I had it set to like 5200 Kelvin or something like that for the white balance. It was actually set to 53, I think. But I had it on auto and it wasn't manual mode so therefore I'm not sure what frame rate it was using but I was shooting 1080 at 30 frames a second so what I 
am going to do now is I'm going to try some different things. I think I'm going to switch over from being auto mode. And now it's manual mode. I'm still 1080, 30 frames a second, but now I am shooting with an ISO of 800 and a shutter speed of 1 60th. Now I'm going to try to splice this stuff together, edit it, and try to make it entertaining, make it look like it makes sense, and kind of make it something you might want to come back and check out. So I'm learning how to do photography. I'm learning how to do video. I'm learning how to do these vlogs. I'm learning how to shoot drone footage. And I'm learning more than anything how to live aloha here on the island of Hawaii. So come along with me. Make sure that you subscribe. And if you want to get notified every time I make a video and publish it, click that notification button. But uh, if you like this, hit like. If you don't like it, hit don't like. I'd love to interact with you. I'd love to hear your, your advice, your critiques, your praise, and your... Yeah, because if I deserve it, I deserve it. So um, just uh, make sure that you tune back in, and I will try to take you along my journey here on the big island of learning how to do all this stuff. In the meantime... Aloha.